All right, this video is about finding the intercepts of graphs. That would be the x and the y intercepts. All right, so how do you find it? Well, this is an algebraic lesson. How do you find it algebraically? Before I jump into that, I want to discuss with you what are we talking about? If you have a graph and you have a random line going through it, when we say intercepts, we're talking about where does it hit the axis? Where does it hit the y-axis? Where does it hit the x-axis? This is called the x-intercept right here. This is called the y-intercept right there. So what you're going to be doing today is taking equations without graphing them and finding those intercepts algebraically. Now on your homework, you're going to have a couple where you have a graph and all you have to do is tell me what this point is for the y-intercept and what this point is over here for the x-intercept. That's all you have to do. Graphically, it's easy. Algebraically, there can be more steps. So let's talk about this. To find your x-intercept, you're going to replace the y value in the equation with the 0 and solve it for x. For the y-intercept, you're going to replace the x value for it with 0 and solve it for y. All right, so let's just do one at a time. All right, let's do x-intercept first. The rule says replace the y with 0 and solve. So I put 4 times 0 equals 2x plus 7. And I'm going to solve this for x. That's my goal. Well, 4 times 0 is 0. 2x plus 7. I need to isolate the x, so I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Divide by 2, so x is negative 7 halves. So when you write your answer for an x-intercept, x is negative 7 halves comma 0, because we put a 0 in for y. So it is an ordered pair, the way your answer will look. The y-intercept, all right, let's do this again. But this time, we're going to put a 0 in for x. So 4y equals 2 times 0 plus 7. 4y equals 0 plus 7, which is going to be 7. Divide both sides by 4. So y is 7 fourths. So again, I write it as an ordered pair. It's the y-intercept, so that means the, it's the y-intercept, so that means what did I do? I put in a 0 for x, right? So in my ordered pair, my x is a 0, and my y is 7 fourths. Okay? So there's my solution. So when you do your work, make sure you're boxing your answers, boxing your ordered pairs that reflect the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Right, let's try another one. Find the x and y-intercepts of y equals 3x plus 12. So if I do x-intercept, that means I put a 0 in for y. and solve it for x. I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides, divide by 3, x is negative 4. So my ordered pair would be negative 4, 0. There's my x-intercept. y-intercept, okay? So y equals 3, plug in a 0 for x, solve it. 0 plus 12, so y is 12. So that means my point is 0, 12. That's how you do it. The equation is nonlinear. What does that mean? That means that it's not just a nice little y equals mx plus b thing with x with the power of 1. Remember, that's a linear equation. So what happens if it's not linear? Well, it means there's more than one x value, right? Which means there's more than one x intercept. So keep that in mind. We're going to follow the same rule we did before. We're just going to replace x's with zeros. So negative 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1, which is going to be negative 3 times 2 times negative 1. Well, what is that? Well, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 times negative 1, so it's a positive 6. Again, my answer will be an ordered pair. Remember, we put in a 0 for x, so x is 0, y is 6. So you're just going to be asked to find the x-intercept on this, and that's it for those types of equations with our higher order. So don't panic when you see them. Just walk through the same process. All right, you try this one on your own. Find the x and y-intercepts of this equation right here. 